Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna quickly show you how to use Incron, which uh, is a tool, an iNotify tool, that allow Monofoot to its file system events and executes command to find in system and user tables. Let's you uh, uh, let you trigger scripts based on uh, write events, like file write events, etc. Uh, on directories or on individual files. Um, oh man, five in cron tab, right? So if we look, so these are the uh, these are the events that you can call a. Um, these are the events that you can do something based on, right? And then you can send extra, you can send variables like the uh, file system path or the. Uh, file name for uh, so if you have a file if, it, if you run uh, in close write it's going to send if using um, the uh, dollar hashtag or dollar pound sign it's funny right um, it will send that path to the script okay so uh, to install it obviously you're going to use whatever package manager you have my package manager has it just fine, like there, second one, right there. Um, I already have it installed, as it says. I already got it installed, right? Um, if you take a quick look at the m oh, man, Incron D, sorry, so it's the daemon. It says here that you want to modify Incron allow or Incron deny. Okay, and uh, you set whether either of these are in use by editing uh, incron.conf. And in my case, I only have incron allowed users. I mean, I've only got two users on this ki uh, machine, and that's m my main user, Josh, and uh, root. So if we go through in and modify allow, you see that I've added both of those. Um, let me just quickly show you the script. So, I personally only use this for one thing, right? And that's to uh, put to automatically convert videos that are downloaded as a WebM, right? So, if I take this video I've got here, I'll save it into this emojis file where it uh, gets saved as a WebM. You can't send WebMs on WhatsApp Web, where some of my friends are, you can't send them. So I like to automatically convert any of them, any WebM or .mov file to a, uh, any, to a um, MP4, which you can send. I use the following script. It's pretty simple. Um, user local bin uh, convert. It doesn't do much. I just send uh, because if we went into here and we did man five incron tab, uh, we have these. Right, so we got the file system path and the file name. So we pass both of these. Both of these get passed into the script. The first one's the file system path, and I immediately change directory so ffmpeg can find the uh, file, and it just takes the file. Where you do do file or do whatever that is, so it says ASCII text, right? But in in the case of a WebM video, it checks and it will pop back saying WebM. If it's a MOV, it will pop back saying MOV QT. Uh, so yeah, just use this. And I'll show you to quickly show you it in action. Action. So it just literally converts it using an I um, f to the exact same file name with mp4 appended if it's a mov it creates with best quality and uh, again converts it to the same thing but with mp4 in the end anyway i'll just quickly show you how it works so on my normal user i will i just use a incron tab dot e or with the e flat that lets you um, modify the um tables that you have running so in this case, we currently have two running on enclosed write and access. And uh, the reason I use enclosed write is because when you're downloading a file, that would, tr if you have it on uh, uh, just in write, I believe it is. Uh, um, if you just use one of the others, like uh, 
in modify or something or in create I think I was using in create initially it will um, it will uh, immediately try and call the script the second it starts downloading but obviously if you're downloading a 50 meg video it doesn't download instantly so you want it to be done you want it to happen when the script when the uh, file system is done writing to it right so I'll just quickly show you how we would do it how we would uh, apply the script to the emojis folder right so it's at emojis and we're use, going to use enclose right and then and we're going to hand it pass in the uh, this directory the emojis directory in the first wildcard and then the file name that uh, triggered it so that's going to be whatever script, whatever uh, movie or whatever, or uh, WebM that you've downloaded. So save that. We'll then uh, reload it. So it gets. So the daemon reloads it, although I don't have the daemon running. So if we do now incron D, and we're going to use. Uh, just put it in the foreground so we can see what's happening. Now if I delete this, and I just quickly re download it. You can see I'm saving it into the same place. We open it. See, look, it's, the script is now running. And uh, as you can see, it's been converted into an MP4. And it's been done. It's now an MP4. I can send it on WhatsApp. Me personally, that's the uh, only actual use I found for it. But that's because I'm not exactly creative. I'm just gonna set it to uh, just gonna start it again and cron D start um, yeah personally that's just because I'm not particularly creative but uh, hopefully you can find more useful ways or more useful uses for in cron